Hey guys, it's Sunday, August 9th, 2015. <clears throat> I thought I'd do a quick video on this Mohu Leaf Antenna. I thought of a couple of mods that I want to do to it just to make it work for uh, my application a little bit better. So what I've got is the antenna sitting on my workbench. I removed uh, four screws out of this little plastic mount. So when you take the lid off, Here's what you got inside. You got a couple of wires coming down that are on an inside antenna that's inside this uh, plastic. And then a couple of very small thin wires coming down to a magnet. Or like a ferrite I believe is what it is. And then they come down and connect to this, um, I don't know what it's called, this coax connection here. So the problem is or what, what I'm thinking, let me put this underneath it, maybe you can see it better, is uh, when I attach the cord here, then th this piece will spin, and these wires will touch each other, and then it kind of shorts out the antenna. I don't think it really causes any damage to the antenna. I don't know for sure. But it does mess up the signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop of uh, hot glue on this magnet, and a drop of hot glue on this piece and then I'm going to drop it back down in there I'm just going to lift this up drop a hot glue drop a hot glue and set this back down I'm going to try to do this on video we'll see how it works out but then that should and then as I put the lid back on that should prevent this piece from spinning as I'm trying to plug the cord into it and I can remove it if it if I don't like it but uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now I know my lighting isn't the best but let me try to arrange this so that you can watch as I attempt to put this hot glue on there and get this cord out of the way here all right so just one little drop of hot glue right there and then one drop right down in here push it down in place and I'm just gonna hold it with my fingers for a minute or so while that glue cools and and then ultimately uh, what I thought I'd do the the whole reason that I got inside there was just for that thing to stop it from spinning in this mobile application where I'm moving this antenna around quite a bit I thought I'd go ahead and uh, maybe waterproof this thing so I can put it outside so that's gonna be my my next plan alright let me see alright that baby is pretty solid I'm gonna put one more drop of hot glue on top and on top so when I put this cover back on it'll uh, hold it hold those parts in place so that the wires aren't touching anymore you can see that it'll focus I don't know if it will I guess it doesn't want to focus but you can see those two wires right here they need to be separate so when that thing spun around those wires would touch so let me put a couple more drops of glue on there and then I'm going to put this cover back on and uh, we'll see what that does. So one drop right on top of that ferrite ring. That just reduces noise coming through the wires. Gives you a clear picture, supposedly. And then one drop here on top of this. I don't want a ton on here, just enough. When I tighten that down, it doesn't have to be super tight, but it was spinning before. So then I'm going to slip the cover back over the top, get it lined up, press it down, and yep, oh, that's still not quite. Yeah, I must have let the glue cool, so I'm going to have to 
pull it back off and redo that section. All right, let me clean this up and I'll come All right, back. I thought I'd show you this on video too. So if you ever mess up with hot glue and you let it cool down before you get your parts in place or whatever, you can just take some uh, isopropyl alcohol, just regular old alcohol, and uh, put it on an applicator like this Q-tip. Rub that on the uh, hot glue, and that hot glue will come right off of there. I don't know if you saw that or not, but see that little piece right there? comes right off. Get rid of it. And I messed it up on this plastic piece too, so let's put some alcohol on there. I didn't plan for this goof up, but since it occurred, I might as well show you how to deal with this. And take your little knife or whatever, and that out and that alcohol just takes it right off of there. No scraping, no weirdness, and uh, there's the piece of hot glue. So I got that cleaned up, and then all I have to do is reapply, and this time actually get it put down on there in time. Let me just test fit real quick, see if this is going to work out okay. Looks like maybe you have to redo the whole thing. Must not have got that pressed down in there tight. So let me get some more alcohol on here. Clean it up. We'll do the whole thing all over again. So enough alcohol in there to seep down in there so that'll release. And like I said, this if I don't like it, then this is how easy it is to redo it. Just pops it loose once you get that alcohol on that hot glue. So let me get some more alcohol on there. Pick those pieces out. There's that piece. And then this one down in here. Get that piece out of there. So then I need to let it dry and then I'll reapply. Make sure my wires are good to go. And get that laid back down in there. Alright, here we go again be a little bit longer video than I had originally anticipated but a glob there whoa way too much a glob there press them back down I'll clean up the excess after this cools I got way too much in that one spot so but not a big deal, it's easy to remove, clean up. Alright, let me clean that up and I'll come back. Alright, there we go. Got it all cleaned up. It's it's uh, good to go and I test fitted, so this one should go a little bit better, but I'm going to go quick, so I'm going to try not to talk while I squirt this on there and then get that plate on. So here we go, take two. And again, way too much. But it is fitting down snug like it's supposed to. Let that cool for a second. Now I'm going to put these screws back in here. Clean this up right around here where I got just a little bit of uh, hot glue oozed out. But it's fitting down tight like it should. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do next to uh, waterproof this thing. Alright, I got that cleaned up. So now what I've got here is 100% clear silicone. With kind of a fine tip on it. And I'm going to apply it 
I'm not going to do it on camera because I want it to look halfway decent. So I'm going to go all the way around the edge. I'm going to go around, blob on each screw hole. And then uh, down the seam right here, all the way to the connector and around the connector, both sides. Then I'm going to let that set up all the way around this outside piece. And then that should waterproof it with the exception of the connection. And I'll show you how I'm going to deal with that when I come back. All right, guys, here we go. I don't know if I can get the light right to show you this or not. There we go. But I got a, a bead of silicone all the way around this thing, all around the seam, around the, uh, the connector, around the screw holes. And I just put a blob on there and then wiped the little swirly off and smeared it on there. So, I mean, that may not be the most beautiful, but it's a nice bead and I did that on both sides. This side you can see a little bit better. All the way down and around the sides. So I'm going to let that silicone set up. And, uh, and then it's pretty much ready to go. This connector is actually nice and tight now. It won't twist or turn. I can't turn it with my fingers. So when I connect the wire to it, it'll be good to go. The only thing that I won't have sealed is the connection. So... Maybe I'll come up with a way to, to seal that off. Throw a rep balloon balloon uh, over the end of it or something and then screw it together. Pull the balloon down over the top of it. <clears throat> and then the last thing I want to do, and I can't do it now until after this sets up, but you see how I have this piece of string in here and this is what I used for my, for my hanging hooks? It's bowing the antenna. So I'm going to uh, pull that string out of there and then I'm going to screw a very small piece of wood through these two holes with the small washer and screw it to that and then put my string on that on that piece of wood so it's much more rigid and uh, it'll just be, be more durable. Maybe I'll paint the wood so it doesn't get weathered or whatever if this is a, it's hanging outside the window up on my uh, solar panel rack or something but Anyway, I'll come back when I get this all finished up and I'll show you how it turned out. All right, guys, so here's the stick that I made with uh, some string. And uh, I've got five pieces of extreme tape on there. I've cleaned off the edge of the antenna with, with alcohol. And so I'm just going to line this up and then press it down. And that's how it's going to be held to the piece of wood those five pieces of extreme tape we'll see how that works that way it'll be waterproof flexible and not permanent if I ever want to take it off of there <clears throat> but that should take most of the bow out of it it's worked pretty good and then I'm just gonna use my uh, loop thing to hold the antenna up and and hang it up in the van I'll have it also set up to where I can hang it up outside the van I'm gonna make a make a pole I can hook up on top of the van temporary put the pole up with this deal hooked on it with the antenna cord going out the window and uh, get this thing maybe three feet above the top of the van that way I can turn it to whatever direction it needs to be for best reception and it can stay out there in the middle of a rainstorm and still be still be usable so thanks for watching guys I'll show you a little montage of pictures here of details as I was putting this together and I uh, hope you all have a good rest of your weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye.